Um, see if anything in the, in, uh, uh, thing in the fall. Okay. No, not none at all. All right. Um, Gregory Clark. I just start back with Gregory Clark and not Jackie Jack, right? Let's sit on the other. Ah. Time has climbed up to 25 minutes after uh, the 9 o'clock hour, and I'd like to say good morning to all those who had a wonderful time yesterday at Jubilee Park, and uh, the parade was exceptionally good. I can't talk about it um, this morning. I'll do that a little later because the Jubilee season is still on, all right? So, um, definitely, I can talk about it. I'll give you a chance, maybe on Monday, to, um, you know, tell us on telephone what you liked about the Jubilee celebration yesterday on what we can try to be administrated in a balanced way. But this uh, morning, at this point in time, we've got an exclusive for uh, about 25 minutes with Andy Meadows King, who um, is uh, going to be sponsoring this period uh, exclusively. And uh, well, this is a man you. who has appeared on the program many times, but always wanted uh, some more time to talk about what he is going to do for athletics in Guyana. Uh, we know what he's been doing already with that classic that has been running for the past two years, and definitely will be back in November for classic number three. But we'd like to hear from him, and he's here this morning. He's also uh, walked with the little champ, and that's his daughter, Tasha. She appeared on the program too before. And she's doing so well with times in the United States of America. And uh, the smallest of them all is here too. And I know that she will become an athlete as well. So Andy, welcome to the show. She's already an athlete, right? Oh, yeah, my dear. Back on the program. You're a regular now. You will host this program for me one more. Yeah, very. Okay, sure, welcome home, my dear. All right? And congratulations. All that you've been doing, I know one day you'll be standing on the podium with the camera. That's what I'm sure you intend to do. Am I correct? Wonderful. Okay, Andy. So, um, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I mean, uh, first of all, I want to say um, uh, hello to Diana again. I'm sure once again to talk about some of the issues. But you know, I mean, time is going to come through. So, you know, I mean, let me get into some of the things fast. You know, I mean, one of the things I want to really have to talk about is the ground, the state of the ground. Uh, like uh, right now, we're in the qualification mode for the Olympics, like my daughter for the Junior Olympics, and uh, she's here right now. So. Um, every morning we get up and we try to go to some grounds to actually um, to get some work. But then it's a sad, it's, a, it's sad to, to, to to see that when you turn up at the ground, you know I me mean, the state that the grounds are in. You see what I'm saying? To you? So I, I'm trying to find out whether the uh, the minister of uh, of sports or the director of sports has ever actually been around to these grounds because it's like we want Olympians, but then we don't have to have a ground. Now mm -hmm. the grounds are the tools for the athletes. That's right. It's like um, you want somebody to build a house, and then you don't have no, you don't you have, have no, saw, you don't have no saw, you don't have no hammer. hammer. You understand? Yeah. Because, for instance, like um, and another thing too, the grounds are not marked, so I don't know how these coaches actually um, do their workout, and the ground is not marked. You understand what I'm saying to you, right? Um, there is no marking on the ground. Like I, I cannot even do a 50 meter. I cannot do 30 meter starts. I mean, these grounds have no mark. And and that's a sad state because I I, I, I went to Enmore Ground, right? Um, I checked the Boston Ground. I mean, I went to Golden Grove Ground where my brother and um, Owen Adonis and Toya for over for the past couple of years have been spending their own money to develop the ground, um, the Golden Grove Ground. 
they took up their own flood. Like everything that they do on the ground is their own personal money from their pocket. Their investment. So I just wanted to reach out to them, to the people out there, and let them know what's going on. Because um, and right now, as we speak, I'm also um, in collaboration with the Paradise because you know that's that's my community. I want to develop that ground. And uh, there's a lot of things that I would like to do there. Um, I drop off a, a, a truckload of sand there for them to fill up certain spot because you know they ground it in a nice way. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I do this program, and they wanted to reason like some of the stuff that I'm doing it goes towards the benefit in the community. Now that we have a local government election, and we know who the um, the, the community representative are, now what the people need to do is bomb base that representative. Then he's gonna bomb base the 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 uh, RDC or RDO or whoever the regional democratic you understand what I'm saying? and then they will far far with it to the parliament children or whatever the case may be. Now we have we have legit representation now so then we can get the thing done. Now you cannot want Olympians and then you don't have a proper gun. Now I cannot I couldn't I, I couldn't have my daughter um risk injuring herself going through paces on that ground. You understand what I'm saying to you? Then they have you know what I mean I mean, no disrespect to the farmers, but they have the cows and the sheep and things grazing on the same ground that athletes have to be on. So that is, is, is terrible. Yeah, well, before you move to the next part, I want to add my bit here too. Um, we, we can boast of having a synthetic track for, for the first time, even though we're way behind time, because we should have had a, an all-weather track a long time ago. Um, we do have that now. But that's, that's not all. That couldn't be all. Well, I want to add to that. Not not to you. I want to yeah. add to that. Last year, I've invited, um, I spoke with um, Glenn Mills, right? And for boys from Jeffrey Chatney, we happened to work out to get some of the athletes from Jamaica to come down to compete at boys from Jeffrey Chatney. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they were on the heat, but then for the finals, it was rain. Mm -hmm. So then the Jamaican athletes couldn't really, could, couldn't really, um, you know, do anything, mm -hmm. right? They couldn't run. Now, that is bad for Diana, mm -hmm. right? Now, for this meet coming up, boys from Jeffrey meet, right? Now, we, he's looking also to add up international athletes. Now, which athletes, how these athletes are going to come when we don't have uh, proper things? So, like for London, that should get us a synthetic track for, just to hold the boys and jeopardy. Definitely. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Now, we need synthetic track in every community. Should add, add, I mean, we don't, not every village, yeah, but yeah, at least yeah. we have one. A one, significant a community. Community. Exactly. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, right? I go to Grove Ground there. That should have all the track because there's a lot of activity that goes on at Grove and Grove Ground. Mm. BZ ground, yeah. Pleasant ground. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Those are significant ground. You see what I'm saying? One central in Georgetown. You know what I mean? So we could talk about we want Olympians and all of these things, but if we don't have the tool, yeah, we have to think. Big. You understand what I'm saying? To right? to you, you know what I mean? We, we gotta stop stop thinking about um. You know what I mean? Just talk and this talk. We train all year round on, on a grass track. Exactly. And then you have to go run, run on, synthetic. on a synthetic track. Exactly. Uh, and, but and, then, and then and not only that, not only that, that. We don't have no marking on the ground. Mm -hmm. There's no marking on the ground. So then how are you going to know your split? Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? How we do you know where you are? Yeah. So, so, I mean, I don't hold no bars, right? Who want to be offended by what I'm saying? But if we want to talk development, we have to have the right things in place. Okay. Well, I want to say one thing. Mm -hmm. And please don't look. Well, every time you say, we talk about this, I always say, please don't think that I'm defending the administration. No, 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 I'm not saying that. The administration is a new one. Yeah, yeah, I get that. We've got persons, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, in charge who um, have uh, been talking about really good development from outside of the authority. Now that they are in, a, mm. in an authoritative position, yeah, yeah, we yeah. have to see them act. Yes, yes. And that yes, is yes. what we want to see them do now. That's exactly. All right. So the, the, the onus is on them now to get their act together, mm. you know, to put these, these systems in place. Definitely. definitely. Let's move. Yeah. An next another step. thing I want to talk about <coughs> is, uh, is uh, like the athletes. Now, while we were developing the mind of the athletes, there is there is some principle I want to instill in the athletes, right? Now, there is a, there's certain criteria and certain things that you have to do. And the reason why I'm saying that, that's the only way to something. One is being obedient to, obedient to your parents and your teachers. Two, you got to pray. Right? You understand what I'm saying? We need to pray every day. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. I try that, right? To be number one. To be successful, there are certain principles that you have to follow. Yeah. And if an athlete don't be, 
discipline. You won't see the true. Um, the, 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 you, you won't see the true potential, potential of the athlete. Yeah. If you don't pray, then you can. Uh, when the difficult times come, you won't be able to climb those uh, clear those barriers. But let me tell you why I think prayer is also an integral part of, of what comes out of you. Uh, it is it is like if you might be a naturally born athlete, yeah. footballer, cricketer, mm -hmm. um, track. If you do not train upon that natural ability, it is going to go to waste. That's right. So that's that right, is right. Uh, how prayer falls in too. If you don't add a little bit of um, uh, thanks to the Almighty, yeah. then because you because let me tell you, I can tell you this: if I didn't listen to my prayer, to my parents, I would have never been like this. You either two places I would have been. You either here or there. That's a fact. Because don't listen to your parents, because I've seen a lot of people what have happened to them. You understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. to you, right? Right? What have happened to them in a lot of ways and, 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 and so on. Right? And you know me, it's not nice. You know. No, um as like for instance, for my road race, right? Some people have come on board recently, like the water situation. I have a family family that said, Listen, look, what you're doing, I gotta water this year. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Flight Jamaica initiated me like, listen, we want to come on board because of what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying to you? Um, I, I tried um, Caribbean Airlines, uh, you know what I mean? It's, they're taking a little while to come on board. I've had a lot of support from African Americans as well. So. But um, like my, some of my colleagues that came over to the, to, to the jury that was here recently, uh, mm -hmm. there is a lot of people that want to come home and do stuff. Some of them haven't come for years, but they, thank God for the. Golden Jubilee, a lot of them come back home to see what's going on. Right. Now, I can say that there was a lot of changes from the last time I was here to Georgetown. Georgetown, there is a change. You see what I'm saying to you? A, a, a big change. A massive change. A massive change. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying to you? So, that's one thing of encouraging people to come back home and so on. I mean, they're doing so in job. But when we talk about sports, we got to talk about all of the things that affect the sports. Now, for instance, um, like the school system, we need to change the way our nationals work. That need to change. There is no way we can move forward with our athletes if that national system don't change. Now, um, let's get a little bit deeper here because I would like to, to, to understand what some of the changes you're talking about. Okay, no. I myself was a national athlete. I've yeah. been part of it for years in school. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I know no other way. Um, it will be interesting to hear what are your thoughts. Okay, about now, it. one of the ways our nationals have to change is because nationals need to be run in a more um symbolic way of like how jamaica have their champs right i mean i'm not saying we're gonna copy from jamaica but we need to find a way that we can run it now you cannot wait until at one time every year to have these athletes running the race and then after that there's nothing more that needs to, that system needs to go secondly right uh we need to have competition for the kids we need to have nationals run at a time when the artists are preparing for college to be. You can't have nationals running in November when there's nothing in November. I think that they made that switch some time ago. I think they did that, and uh, for whatever reason, it, it, it probably didn't work out, and, and then it was put back. That is as far as I can remember. But I know that there were some people yeah, so who were advocating for that switch. Yeah, because for the next event. For instance, right? For instance, right? Uh, for instance, right? Uh, for instance, right? Uh, for instance, right, uh, for instance uh, what I'm saying now is that, uh, is that uh, like, like, for instance, like, um, we have a lot, no, the athletes then, right, need to be prepared for big. They have to have this big mind. You understand what I'm saying to you, right? Um, you, you're saying I know your your train of thought has been broken because of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you're you're saying that uh, that the national event mm -hmm. must run straight into another significant event, into another significant event. Yes. So that you can get to perhaps the top more. Exactly. Uh, right. Okay. 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 So that the time. The time. Yes. To, 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 to switch around. And switch around. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And also. Um, what, what also we have, right, uh, we have a problem with our athletes. Um, like, after, like, for instance, I train my daughter, right? And um, and we have, like, for instance, like, coming up, we have the, um, the, the Junior Olympics trials coming up, right? Now, we have so much meat running up to the Junior Olympics. You understand what I'm saying to you? And, um, and everything corresponds. You understand what I'm saying to you, right? And... 
to prepare an athlete, you gotta understand that what is the main goal. Now, we have a lot of talent here. Like I watch the, the kids in Grenada, right? Um, we need more athletes, more, more, more competition that span over X amount of days because our athletes are not used to the, the days and days and days of running. They get burned out because their system is not. Like I work with some of our athletes when they come overseas. They warm up session. My daughter warm up longer than them. They don't warm up. So if you don't warm up properly, you could never be explosive. Because your heart rate is not up, your lungs is not open. You see what I'm saying? That depends the whole weight loss and the what has been put into them by the coach. Exactly. But I've worked with some coach and the coach is trying to instill with the athletes the importance of warming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying to you, right? But the the, the, the kids them don't want to warm up that long. Like I remember um, a couple of athletes came to America and said, when I see they warm up, I said, hey, that's your warm up. What is that? Well, you're lucky you've seen some warm up. <laughs> you see, because I remember some time ago I had, had passed, there was a it wasn't the national track championships mm -hmm. it was one of the maybe i think it was in the schools or something like that and i saw some athletes at the starting point waiting for a race mm -hmm. and some of them were standing with their hands folded waiting for the starter's instruction mm -hmm. and, I, and i said to the person who was with me in the car look you know they're going to run a race it is obvious that they didn't know that they were supposed to be keeping themselves warm which mm -hmm. means that they probably were not told that or they were just plucked out like that and say go run yeah. you know so yes i do agree there are a lot of things that we need to streamline mm -hmm. um, b before and if we're thinking seriously of yeah. producing the really yeah. good ones mm -hmm. coming out of that we, we, we gotta change you know the, another thing i would like to also yeah. know is the athletes getting fun to go overseas and run yeah. that's one of our biggest problems yeah. you know Thank my you. recommendation is this right um we know about the, the budgetary money, right? Now, this is my suggestion. And, and if I'm wrong, you tell me. The sports committee should, be, should, um, should do something like a credit card. A, like the credit card, right? So to the AAG or the Olympic or whatever, Olympic or whatever. So when athletes need to go overseas, you can go to any airline. Now, there is X amount of funds uh, attached to the credit card. So whenever an event comes up and athletes need to go, they just go with a credit card to the airline and purchase the ticket. Now what that does is give you a track record of how this money is being spent. So with that now, right, and, and I think that the government should do that for almost every sports fraternity, the RDCs, whatever that, you know what I mean? So that if we say we're developing this club, don't just allow the cash to them there and have it lying there. Do a credit card system that they go with this credit card if they got to get materials or whatever now if they have to pay workers now what happened now is that um they go to whatever bank you know you understand what i'm saying and the people drop. so you will always have a track record of exactly what happened so you won't have this um auditing fraud and all of these things that is going on because money was allotted and people did the own thing because they have the cash the, the funds ready no credit card system so if 20 athletes need to go to uh correct the game you just, um, the AAG set up everything. Once everything is in order, then the AAG goes with the credit card to Carbon Airlines or Fly Jamaica and um, for, use the credit card. So then they show that this is what, so much money that was allotted to the AAG was spent. So we're talking about two things here. We're talking about cash being readily available. That's right. And we're talking about accountability. That's right. All right, because what we've noticed over the years and since in my days, mm -hmm. when an event, an important event, let's say Whitsuntide Games in Grenada mm -hmm. or Hampton Games in Trinidad, you have to go as, a, as an athlete around with, with a sheet begging arms. Yes, yes. Uh, and only recently I saw that and I couldn't understand no, it. But, 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 but listen, but I call you and call other people to contribute to some of the kids go cardio. No, talk about Hampton Games. I was one of, I'm one of the sponsors for Hampton Games this year. Okay. The reason why, because I'm getting frustrated with this country of doing certain things. So I, 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 I you know I me, mean? I just say, you know what, let me go to Trinidad and, and assist Hampton, the, 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 the Hampton Games, right? Talk to Mr. Highland, my daughter run there already, and he, he welcomed the, 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 the sponsorship. So I do all the trophies for all the under 12, all the under 10, all the under 9, all the kids' trophies. I, I, I donated them to Hampton Games because 
this OG family in this country. If you're not taking me serious, and if you're not taking me serious, I'm serious about OG development. If you don't, I, then I'll go other places and that is serious about developing the kids. I'll definitely do that. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Well, I, I know I know how you feel, Andy, but I know your your ultimate goal is, is to help Guyanese. Um, that's that's uh, help exactly. Guyanese, please. But then I'm there is Guyanese of, at least in Trinidad also. Oh, so you're talking about assisting the Guyanese in Trinidad? Yeah, because people are oh, serious. Because about I was wondering how, how could I have the nexus here? No, with no, you no, being no, in Trinidad no, and assisting no, the Guyanese. No, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. You see okay. what I'm saying? Because yeah. Here is frustrating because people are not taking me serious. Now ask them my personal. Well, let me tell what you I'm this doing. that I don't disagree with you because if I'm talking about way back when, look, um, if I should use myself as, mm -hmm. as an example, when I represented Ghana at the Hampton Games in 1980, it was at the last minute. Money was accrued for, for me to go, and that should not have happened. Sometimes an athlete is told that he or she might be representing uh, mm. the country yeah. um, at this Games coming up in three, four months. And then within two weeks, you're not too sure if you're going. Exactly, because, because there's no money there. And I don't want to say, I don't care about administration. You're mm -hmm. supposed to, your budget, whenever you do your budget, you're supposed to allot money to these regular associations to get sort of things in place. So these athletes, you know, give, you know, how you want an Olympian. Everybody's asking, oh, we want an Olympian. We want this, we want that. And then you know, the, the infrastructure is not in place. Right? You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. I, I look at it because overseas, I'm well involved in sports. There is no, uh, um, like for instance, they just concluded um, uh, Penguin Day. I've been lobbying for athletes to go to the Penguin Day. Right? Now, that's the, the team from Fort Wellington. Now, do you know how much work I've put into that? I wasn't responsible for that team, team. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not taking credit for that team. I was not personally responsible for that team. And I'm elaborating. I was not personally responsible. But what I did, I've been talking with the pen relay boards of directors for years of trying to allow a Guyanese team to run at pen relays for the first time. I tried to work with some teams from Linden to get them to go to the pen relays, but communication was bad. The people, the, the people in that talked to the, with, with the Fort Wellington, they were more organized, but this is what happened. Let me tell you what the pen relay team was. You gotta submit the names to the to the board of directors a certain time ahead and the time that they go. So it's not something that's readily done. But this is what happened. I think this is my personal view. I could be wrong, but this is my personal view. That when the, when the the, the the team approach the sports uh, the, the sports fraternity, they never really think they would have gotten their visa. But what happened is that. After I went, I'm in contact with them and I explained to them how the system in Guyana works, just like with um, the New Balance International Games with the committee, how I explained to them how the, um, the system works in Guyana. Once these athletes are to come to America, they have to submit um, the recommendations or the invitation to the American Embassy for these teams that are registered. That's why you have to register ahead of time and put all the information in so that the, the directors for these meet will forward the necessary documents to the United States Embassy. So when you approach the embassy now, they already have a database of missing me. Yes, they're legit. These people submitted, they expecting you so that the artists can get their visa. That's what happened, but because of the, the, the people behind the sports, they don't understand how some of these meets go overseas. They don't even get the context how complex it is. So when these people went to the American Embassy, the name, the, 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 the school name were already there. So it was, they just going up late and travel. You understand what I'm saying to you? But they never expect them to get a visa. So when they approach them, because I speak to people that was directly involved with it, they never expect them to. So when they came back, no one said, listen, we want X amount of money. That's when other people have to come into play. But I sat down and I watched that boy's team. One, they were here. And my wife, my daughter, everybody was, was happy. For the first time, see Guyana at the pen relays. You see what I'm saying to you? No, what a board of director asked me to do, and again, the president of the Athletic Association, R.B. Austin, was next to me with that in New York recently. They said, listen, whenever you go to Guyana, go around to the school, get their information, their coach, their principal, whatever, whatever, whatever. Get it to us. We'll put it in a database. So whenever this school now want to if this other schools want to come up from Guyana to take part in the pen release, 
we they won't have to be like how they were miscommunication this that 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 that, that. so let me do it early so one of my thing here i'm trying to do if i have the time because i come now to do some other stuff is go around to some of the schools get their information so i can submit it into the directors of the uh of the of the uh the, the pen relay so that other teams from guyana can come up but it's a complex thing i've got athletes to come to the new balance international that should be that is that happens before chorister athletes should come to that in order to test out what they're doing with their coaches to know what time they're running before they go to the course again the jamaican athlete does that they use every meet to prepare them for course so that's why they do so well we don't we don't know whether we have a problem with starts whether we have a problem with our with with, with, with our dry phase whatever, whatever that can work with us you know something yeah. Yeah. i mean i don't really want to take over the whole show but i mean i'll let me down say well i know i know when when i get my signal for the final five minutes i have patience yeah, yeah, because yeah. i know you've got a whole lot of things yeah yeah but, but but i mean yeah but but but, but, but i have plans for yeah but i have plans to yeah, yeah, yeah um thing uh you know I me mean? my road race this year okay before i go i bring it right here i want everybody to see you know what i'm saying before the time goes on and so on and so on and so on now these are some of the trophies as you can see, it's right here in the plastic bag. You know, because you know, time is something that runs out very, very fast. Right? These are some of the trophies that, that is already here for my road race. So, and it's in November, right? And you're in May now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So well, 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 November is just next door. <laughs> I know that. But, but this is what happened. This is what happened. Yeah. The good thing about this is what happened. Uh -huh. Right? Lovely. Some Lovely. of the money that was left over from last year sponsorship right i was able right i was able to use that money to buy these things ahead of time so i don't nothing no donation that i get i don't use for myself it goes straight to this that's why i'm trying to see if i can get a fund set up so that um like regular people who want to make donations can make donations. We can do a um. Oh, we don't have to take yeah, yeah. We just have to yeah, right. We can do a um a, a, a King Medas, Bradshaw, um a Kong fund, whatever the case may be, so that people because what I would like to do is from that fund, right? Um, also um help of like like this year, help of some of the artists I want to go over see that may not of have have all the money and so on, so that that fund can go towards that. That's things what I would like to do. Yeah, well, th that I would love to see indeed because. We want we, we want to say that a Guyana team is going to be representing um, at well I love to say Hampton Games International mm -hmm. with some side games and when you say that you know it's going to happen because you know the mm -hmm. money, money is, is there, there already that's right. to send the to team, send the team. Exactly. because there is this fund, fund. Yes, right. um, why right. didn't this happen before Lord in Heaven knows uh, and and I've got my personal views about that but I won't go into that right yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. all right I still have got my grievances. With, uh, with the the authority with the, the local uh, amateur athletic association, mm -hmm. I mean you 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 made a, a point about the president. I believe the president is a is a, is a waste of time, but that's my point of view. I get of that, you. I get that. But um, I I'm saying that we we want to put things in place. Now. Yes, put there is an opportunity. Yes, and uh, to do things differently now. Definitely. And we, we, we and with your input, Andy, because I know you're very very passionate about. Your Guyanese yeah. athletes. I'm looking for Olympia. Yes. My goal is yes. I'm looking for Olympia. It's, it's time we. we I'm looking for Olympia. Yeah. It's time so we. Um, no, one, we have one, one of the representation. Yes. One of, another thing, though, is that mm. everybody's looking at individual goals. Right. Sometimes, and I guarantee we can get a, a medal at the Olympics or to a championship to a relay. I'm telling you that. Okay. And I believe that. That's I, my I, belief. I think we can. I think we can. We can medal because the the onus of relay is to get the back in the run. Okay, since we've got just about two to three minutes mm -hmm. remaining, I just would love to hear from Keisha here. Keisha, you've been doing so well. Uh, again, I commend you. I want you to tell me about how you feel about the times you've been making now. You've been improving, not gradually, but rapidly. Tell me about it, Keisha. Well, if it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't have made it anywhere. If he pushes me and hopes this is why I'm here today. This is why I'm able to support Guyana in whatever I need to do in sports and track and field. And I can represent Guyana anywhere. Anywhere in the world than I run. So, but we still need more people, not just me, but other people around in Guyana 
to help us. So, like how the Jamaicans are known, I can barely see a Guyana flag anywhere. Let us make Guyana's flag be everywhere in the world so we can see that we, yes, we have shown that we can support a country that everybody knows that Guyana is a country that can help and that can do anything. Wonderful, wonderful. I've uh, seen photographs. Your, your dad did send me photographs on the WhatsApp with you on the podium. Um, uh, how do you feel at the moment when you're there receiving your, your prize, either for third or second? Uh, or uh, they, I, I know you've received first many times at, at, at various um, events. But how do you feel, particularly when you think that this is going back to Guyana? and other people will see that I am indeed representing Guyana. How do you feel at that moment? Could you tell me? Well, I felt proud. Very proud because people can see that I'm here and that, not just me, but we can help Guyana and show that, yes, we are here, like what I said before. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, I want to wish you all the best. Um, it is not just that you're doing what you know you can do, but you know what you want to do, and that's important. And when you put the two together, we're getting a complete character. And that's what we want. I want to one day open the papers, or in fact, if that is going to send the, the, the news and everything to me before, uh, to see you standing tall uh, at, at number one in, in your category. And the thing about it is that you run with bigger persons than yourself. You run with bigger athletes, and, and, you, and you do really very well. So that signals to me. Uh, pretty soon we'll be hearing the name all over the place, all over the world um, as a champion. I want you to keep respecting your dad and your mom, all right, and your coach. Well, your dad is your coach, but there might be a time when someone else might be called in to coach you. That's, 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 that's true. Because that's of the true. development, that's true. all right? That's true. That's so true. I want you to keep that respect flowing, and I just love your positive attitude. Just keep it up, right, Keisha? Okay. Wonderful, right there. Um, Andy, we've run out of time. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Time, time is too short, short, you know me. I mean, all right. I mean, um, but I, I hope that Diana gets a message of what I would like to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm working with Paradise Ground. I want to be there at the ground. I want to be there at the community. I want to, uh, if possible, get a team from out of, uh, out of, uh, of, of Paradise Housing School. Uh, you know what I mean? So I'm working. I'm trying to work with the schools. I'm trying to do so many things. You know what I mean? But I mean, I can't do it alone. You know what I mean? Uh, but whatever little I get that I can contribute. That's what I'm going to contribute. But I'm the raging looking for Olympics. Yeah. You feel me saying to you? And I'm, I'm not depending on no no government or nobody to do this. You feel me saying? I'm going to do my manhunt and search for the people that I want to do. I mean, if the government want to come on board, it's okay with me, but they need to be there to tell me. Because I couldn't even do places with my dad. You got to go and just tell me. Yeah, the thing that I like about you is that you prepare to go it alone even if you have to do it alone. That, that's it. Um, and you just keep saying if the government wants to come on.